Hey there YouTube, what is going on? How are you guys doing today? Out for just a quick warm up ride. I'm gonna, I just wanted to warm the bike up. I'm gonna take it back and drop the fuel out of it. I just got done cleaning the belt. There's a little bit of mild soap and water. Um, just cleaned it off. It was a little bit dirty. What else? Uh, so, yeah, I just did that. Oh, I got a little bit of inset video for there for you. Just so you can see as to what I was doing. Hey guys, so just gonna take some soap and water as you can see here. As you can see, looking at the belt, it's a little dirty. So I'll just take some soap and water. Take a little turn off over here. One of these. This is a little local back road. Nothing really special. This I figured. Uh, I'm a little past losing the sun by now, and uh, I figured, uh, uh, you know what? I'll probably just turn or take a quick left down over here. I, I do have that third view there, and. Uh, I have the left mirror set up so that I can see that camera. I do have it tethered, but just in case if it falls off. I had got some wood off of a guy over here. Um, it was a while ago, man. That was when I was collecting wood. But uh, I don't do that anymore. Now I'm just burning, I'm burning the pellets. Just stopped by Lowe's today to see uh, about uh, what they would charge for shipping if I were to buy four pallets worth. And they were telling me uh, about 65 bucks. So, um, wondering, debating whether I should just get the four pallets and have them delivered. Uh, by the way, through here, the leaf changing is also often pretty nice. But uh, I was wondering if I should just buy the four pallets and have them delivered or continue to do what I used to do, which is uh, stop by Lowe's any chance that I get and pick up uh, 10 or 15 or whatever. Every now and again when I'm in the area, I'll stop and pick up 10, and stop and pick up 10, and stop and pick up 10. So, I'm kind of debating as to which it is that I should do, or which I would want to do. I'm not really 100% sure just yet. But, um, yeah, as of right now, um, that's what I'm thinking. Or, just pay the 65 bucks and have them just deliver it. So, I guess I kind of have to figure out which I want to do. But if I do pay the 65 bucks, what I was thinking I would do is I would get about four tons. So, which four tons is pretty much uh, four pallet loads, and you got 50 bags on a pallet. So, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, a little topic that I saw on the V Star 1300 forums. And I thought it was something that kind of could go for any motorcycle. Um, 
I don't know if we really would care about it with cars, but as far as uh, motorcycles, you know, so one of the guys was saying that he was having an issue with his bike where for some reason, you know, it was sputtering and spitting a lot. So one of the guys said to him, well, you know, I used to have a, a issue like that and the dealer told me that the, the bikes, these bikes have a warm-up cycle that they have to go through. And basically, if they don't go through that warm-up cycle, they pretty much don't run right. So it's like you'll start the bike, it'll be low idle, then it'll be pretty much a normal idle, then it might fall down to low again. And, uh, and then uh, it might bounce around a little bit and then settle out. So he was saying, well, you know, I'll try and let the bike warm up a little bit longer and then see how, you know, see how the bike runs then. So he said, oh, okay, you know, all right, I'll try that. He lets the bike warm up a little bit more. And lo and behold, that actually turned out to be it. <laughs> they stopped and let the bike warm up a little bit more. And he came back on the forum and he said, yeah, man. He said, oh, man, you know, that really worked. Um, the bike ran great. And, and and he's like, man, he's like, oh, man, I'm so surprised. I can't believe it. It's running so good now. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, so that was nice. That really helped him. And I'm kind of just wondering, do you guys do that? Do you guys let your bike warm up for a little while before you uh, decide to take off? You know, I know with me, I tend to, uh, I tend to let my, my bike idle not long. But I would say maybe a little longer than 45 seconds. So I'll start it up and maybe it'll run. It'll run and it'll drop the idle. Once that idle drops, then I'll wait a little bit longer and I'll take off. And I've never really had any sputtering issues. Uh, not that, at least not that I remember. So I don't know. Maybe it's a freaky thing. Who knows? Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what I was wondering. They have some nice horses over here. Oh, look, one of them is out. Oh, that's cool. Two of them is out, excuse me. Uh, four. Mm. Sometimes you come out here. I remember one time I came out here and they were just laying there. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, is he dead? <laughs> and then I pulled in the driveway. Because I was going to tell the owner, like, hey, you know, uh, your horse, I don't know if he's all right, if he's sick or something happened. But, um... Uh, yeah, he was just laying there, I guess, enjoying his time. And uh, when I pulled into the driveway to go ring the bell, the horse got up. Like, he got up to look like, oh, who's that? You know, and I was like, oh, okay. So I just took off. <laughs> oh, I thought that was funny. Uh, yeah. But anyhow. So those are the short threats that are or were on my mind that I thought to vlog about. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. If you get a chance, if you're on Facebook, feel free to check out my Facebook page. Uh, www.facebook.com forward slash dbest1a. And if you are on Instagram, you can check me out on Instagram at on Instagram at the best one a apostrophe underscore rides so I'm on there and I post a little I might every now and again I might post a little video or I might post a little something little chit chat or whatever the case may be who knows but uh yeah I do post things on there from now every now and again every time and again Alright guys, well thank you for watching, I do appreciate you, uh, you guys stay safe out there, and uh, keep your eyes and your head on a swivel baby, woo, see you later.